All right, what's up, everybody? It's Wicked and Now today, 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 man, we have some GTA 6 drama for you guys. You guys know everything that's major about GTA 6, I'm covering it on this channel. Like, bro, listen, I cover so many games and stuff like that, but let's not forget, bro. Listen, Grand Theft Auto is one of my favorite. Uh, I mean, bro, it, it might be my favorite uh, gaming franchise of all time. So, you know, whenever there's drama, I got to deliver. Now, today we're going to be talking about, um, about an artist. Well, not really one artist. But we're going to be talking about a band. Or I don't know if he's like the leader of the band, but his name is Martin Ware. Never heard of him. Never heard of his band before. His band is called Heaven Seventeen. I don't know if you guys, you know, may have heard of it. Whatever. I never heard of that band before. But um, basically, he went on uh, Twitter. My bad. Sorry. He went on X. My bad. Sorry. He went on the Hellhole app uh, called Twitter <laughs> or called X. Whatever you listen. Whatever you prefer. And basically, he expressed his frustration because he said, well. He claims that Rockstar wanted to use his song um, in their game. And let's be honest with you. Rockstar, whenever it comes to, like, g just a GTA game, bro, the music has to be so, j just amazing. It has to be absolutely amazing because my favorite GTA, GTA 5, brother, their music was absolutely, bro, bro, chef's kiss, absolutely amazing. Now, at the time in 2013, I only knew two songs. I, bro, that one song... Make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world by, by Rihanna. I knew that song and I knew uh, um, um, Glamorous by Fergie. Those were the only two songs at the time that I knew before, like, um, like before I knew the like the rest of the songs later. Um, and, and bro, let me just say I'm going to get to that at like the end of this video. But just just make sure you're there because I'm, I'm going to like kind of like connect it in a way. But basically, um, you know, Rockstar, they're trying to put like some music in the game. They're reaching out to different artists and stuff like that. And, um, you know. Uh, Martin Ware and you know his crew the heaven 17 they got reached out for uh, their song called temptation now I did look up their song Th that song has like uh, like a lot of plays I think it has like 20 million plays I think um, on Spotify uh, so a lot of people listen to it most likely a lot of people know the song and so um, he's he claimed that Rockstar offered them in in total there's three there's three members there's Martin Ware and the rest of it and the other two uh, songwriters and, and musicians he claimed that Rockstar offered them uh, $22,500. $22,500. There's three people. So if you divide it up, that's $7,500 uh, for each person. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you, and I'm going to be like completely honest with you, he says, Martin Ware says, oh, that's a horrible deal. That's absolutely, that's blasphemous. Like, bro, we deserve way more than that. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm not going to go off on Martin uh, where I'm not going to go off on his band. I'm not going to go off on. I'm not going to go off. It's just at the end of the day. Let me let me explain something to you. He must not see, bro. He, he must not know how fast stuff gets around. He, you, he must not. He must not know how fast stuff travel in this day and age. I don't know. I mean, looking at like. I looked at his, like, uh, not his, but I look at, like, you know, his band's, like, catalog. You know, they're dropping songs in, like, the 80s and the 90s. I think their last project they did was, like, in 2019. Um, and if I'm being honest with you, I, I just have to be completely honest with you. If I was Martin in Rockstar Games, and that's what I say. I don't know if this is an age thing. I don't know if this is whatever. But if I'm Rockstar Games, and they come to me and they say, hey, man, do you mind if we... Put your game i'm sorry put your song in our game um obviously like you know we're gonna work out like some type of deal to the point to where like you know you can have like obviously it's your song so you have rights to the song and but obviously you know we have rights to the song as well if we just buy it off whatever right here's what i would do if i was martin i'm accepting that deal like this if i'm martin i'm accepting that deal like this i'm not i'm not here to make fun of him or, or i don't even know how old the guy is or how old his band is or how old his managers are but they not they, they must not know how fast stuff gets around and the reason i keep saying that is because as a kid who didn't even know who who, who the pet shop boys was in 2013 as a kid who didn't even listen to future in 2013 I didn't, I didn't know who future was as a kid who 
didn't know the song um the music sounds better with you i didn't even know that song existed until gta 5 do you not understand there are so many good songs y'all there's so many good songs that i didn't even like i i couldn't even fathom i didn't even know like any of these songs before bro like i said i only knew two songs and me just driving around, listening to music. Bro, I used to legit listen to music, bro. Driving, driving a really fast car, just down the street in GTA, and GTA Five. GTA has put me on so many songs; it's crazy. Every time, listen. If you go to, uh, if you play, um, how much you wanna bet? You go to um, YouTube right now. You go to the uh, Pet Shop Boys YouTube channel, whatever. You click on uh, West End Girls. This is the song called West End Girls. If you look in their comment section, they're all going to say, oh, this is the song in GTA 5. What I'm trying to say is, and you could do whatever you want. You, could, you, you can turn down a deal. If you feel like, you know, you got cheated out of something, whatever. At the end of the day, brother, you're not the only song. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I did listen to the actual song, uh, Temptation. It fits the vibe of, of, of Vice City. It really does. It gives off this 80. It's like a synth wave. I like I like synth wave like music. It gives off this synth wave 80s vibe. It fits Vice City perfectly. I'm looking at this guy like, wait a minute. So you turn down. Brother, brother, do you not understand that this game is going to sell a bit? This bro, this game is going to make a billion dollars in, in, in the first day. Do you not understand that this song, bro, this game is going to sell Forget, bro, forget the money. Let, let's just, I'm gonna move the money aside. Let's talk about actual copy sales. This game is going to absolute, bro. The amount of numbers this game is gonna do whenever it just comes to like, 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 like physical copy sale. Bro, do you know how many, do you know how many people's gonna buy this game in the first like hour of it coming out? Brother, the PlayStation Store is crashing. The Xbox store is crashing. When you when you go, because let's be honest, everybody's coming out for the midnight release for GTA 6. Obviously. That's obvious. Brother, the line's going to be packed for G... For, bro, every GameStop is going to be flooded. The PlayStation store, the PlayStation store is going to break. Bro, eh, bro, bro, do you not understand, like, what, like, what we're at? Do you not understand, like, what we're doing right now? At the end of the day, I understand that, hey, you know... $7,500 for each member of the group, $22,500. I understand that's not enough for you at the moment. Brother, you could have taken that money, let them put your game, let them put your song in the game. Do you not understand that that when people play this game and they hear your song and they think, oh man, what song is this? And they look at your song and they like, you know, and they open like, uh, and they open like the, uh, like the music wheel. I don't even know if, if GTA is going to have a music wheel, but I hope they do. And they open like the GTA music wheel and they see your song and they're like, oh snap, let me let me add this to my let me add this to, like to my like songs or whatever on Spotify. Do you not know that's like more brother? That's millions. That's literally and, and, and it's not even oh, but what if it doesn't? What if no, there is no what if it does, brother. Do you not know how many songs from GTA 5 has got has gotten a bigger, has gotten like a big boost from GTA 5? Do you know, bro, so what if people go to your comment session, bro, and, and like if people go to your comment session and they'd be like, yo, this is the game from GTA six, brother, that's an honor. That's an honor. Only a person with an ego would think like that. Oh, well, I don't, I don't want the, I don't want my game associated with GTA, bro, that like, there's no shot. You turn down free money. What, what did you expect them to... Uh, listen, I want to keep this res uh, respectful as possible. But what did you expect them to, to offer you? You wanted them to... Did you, did you want Rockstar to give you, what, 50, 50 grand? 100 grand? What did you want them to give you? You think they're about to... You think they're about to... And I understand, Rockstar, they have billions. But, bro, these billions are going towards the game. What are you... And then you could have made more than what they offered you when the game came out. 
I don't under no 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 no. Like I don't understand this. They offered you twenty two thousand for the in, for for the group. So that's seven grand each. Everybody gets seven grand. They offered you twenty uh twenty twenty two thousand whatever. You declined it, brother. If you would have accepted it, they would have taken your song, put it in GTA uh GTA six music. The game would bro GTA six is gonna be out for what like probably like five years, five six years. Do you not know the amount of streams you're gonna have? Especially like on Spotify, especially like on if your stuff's on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever. Do you not? I think people underestimate how fast stuff travel in 2024. People under, bro, there's so many songs that I didn't know until like I heard them like on TikTok or to, or or until I heard them in like a video game. There's so many, there's, bro, the amount of, st it, uh, bro, I just wish everybody had that mindset of like, oh, you know what? Then I can do this to do this. Like I wish everybody had like a had like a like a not even just like a business mindset, but just like a mindset of like, bro, if you do like if you make content in a way, like like video content or music or whatever, I wish everybody had like that lucrative like thing of like, you know what? Okay, maybe this isn't maybe this isn't a bad thing. Maybe they can this can actually work out as a good thing. Maybe if I promote this right, it can actually bro, like you can there's different ways you can promote it. And again, I don't know this guy's age. Maybe he's a lot older. Maybe he's not really into the whole like, you know, TikTok thing, not even TikTok thing, but maybe he's not really up to date whenever it comes to how fast stuff travel because stuff travels so fast in on the internet. It's crazy. And maybe, you know, and 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 you know what? And I was really about, right now, legit, I was really about to say, oh, maybe he's not a money guy. No, he's clearly a money guy. He's clearly a he wanted more money for the song. You could have made more, you could have made more money. On the opening day of GTA 6. What are we talking about? Bro, it's like an investment, basically. It's like a... It, you're, you don't lose anything. I mean, cool. May, maybe you lose half the rights to your song. I don't know if, if, if Rockstar would just probably just completely buy your song, just overall, just in general. I don't know how that works. I don't know. Like, like Listen, and guess what? And, and if Rockstar is like, you know what? Cool, we'll give you this amount of money just to buy your song like entirely and you don't get nothing else. Then guess what? I'm completely wrong. But surely you guys could have worked out a deal and be like, oh, okay, cool. You know what? You could actually uh, let, let us have, you know, um, half the rights of the song or whatever. And then, like, you know, we still get, like, some type of, like, equity off of it or whatever. Like, bro, y'all could have still, like, worked out something, bro. Like, like, stuff like this, bro. I'm like, bro, I wish I had, like, I wish I was, like, kind of in, like, their POV for that decision, bro. I would have been like, yo. Let's just do this. Let's work out a deal. Let's like let's just let let's make sure that we keep half the rights to this song. Maybe they already made a lot of their money off the song, and they were like, you know what? Well, since we made this amount of money off the song, then you know we're not you know we're not selling this song for nothing, bro. I guarantee you this, and I'm just being completely honest with you. If you kept the rights to your song, and Rockstar was like, yo, can we just use your can we use that song like and, and like in our game, whatever. But you guys can still like have like some of the rights to it, or whatever. I promise you, even if you would have had like twenty percent of the rights to that song, I promise you, I bro, I'm not even kidding. I promise you, you would make more money off that twenty percent of your you would make you would make more money off that twenty percent than you did off that entire song. I'm just being completely honest with you. I'm sorry, but that's just what it is. That's how big stuff travels. I'm sorry. Maybe and listen, if Rockstar wanted to actually buy the entire song, whatever, then guess what? I guess you made the right decision. But y'all could at least work out a deal, bro, and, and and try to make something out of it. But comment down below, man. What would you listen? What would you guys do if Rockstar Games came to you and they said, "Hey, can we buy? You know, can, can we get this song on uh, you know, on our GTA uh, on our GTA game? What would you do? Because I'm doing it." I'm doing it, brother. I'm in a GTA. Bro, my song is in a GTA game? Are you serious? But again, maybe they're older. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't, like, they're not really up to date. Maybe they're not really, like, gaming type of people. Maybe they're not. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? You guys ever get some out? And.